If you're a homeowner and you need help with your bills, how about looking into modifying your loan before choosing to refinance? Why is that sometimes the better way to go? Well, Shay DuPont from the law firm of Morris DuPont is here to tell us. Shay, great to have you back. Thank you, Cindy. Happy to be here. Refinancing versus loan modification. Right. Okay, refinancing, first of all, why would somebody choose to refinance their home? Normally because they want to get a lower interest rate, which would result in a lower monthly mortgage payment, which right. everybody would want to see a lower Definitely. monthly mortgage payment. So if you're at 6.75 on your interest rate right now, you could possibly see it go down as low as maybe 4.5. Two weeks ago, it was almost down to 3.99, I think. So definitely lower interest rates today. So refinancing, even if you have negative equity on your property, if you're underwater, if you have a Fannie or a Freddie loan, you can actually refinance that property. And in a perfect world, you could call somebody up and say, I would like to refinance and get this lower rate. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs> and have it be done, but that's uh, not the way it works. No, you have to qualify just like you did when you got your first mortgage. So you have to have the credit score and you're going to have closing costs involved. So you're going to be out of pocket some amount of money or the lender's going to fold those closing costs back into your principal. So your principal balance on your mortgage is actually going to go up. This is so, sounding less and less appealing by the well, second. you know, it has its advantages and disadvantages. What I like better is, of course, a loan modification where your lender agrees to modify the terms of your existing mortgage. No credit score involved, no closing costs involved, and you could possibly see an interest rate as low as 2%. Ooh, that yeah. sounds good. Yes, it does. But <laughs> how do you qualify for this loan modification? Well, you have to be able to show that you are currently paying more than 31% of your gross monthly income towards your housing expense. And monthly housing expense is five factors, principal, interest, taxes, insurance, and homeowners association fees. So if those five figures together are more than 31% of your gross monthly income, you are probably going to be able to qualify for a loan modification where your lender will agree to modify terms of your mortgage to push that payment down to 31% of gross monthly income. How do you help people with this? I help people because I do those calculations for them. So you don't have to remember the graph, you don't have to remember the formula. I give a free consultation and I sit down, I ask people to bring in a most recent pay stub. We look up the current market value of the property, we look on their mortgage statement to see what their monthly housing expense is, and I calculate and I tell them whether, whether or not I think they can qualify. So if I get a loan modification and my uh, my house is underwater, is is that fine and will I be forgiven on the principal? You <laughs> could. That's a good question because w how does the lender modify the terms of your existing mortgage to create a lower payment? Yeah. Well, they have three different factors that they work with. The interest rate, which I said you could get as low as 2%. Oh. The amortization schedule, you might be eight years into your mortgage, so you've got 22 years left. They might extend that back out to 30 years or the principal balance. If you have negative equity and it's not a Fannie Freddie, they can actually reduce principal, so chop off principal. I had, last week, we had a permanent loan modification for a client and we were able to get $162,000 forgiven. <gasps> yay. Oh, yay for you and yeah. yay for them in yeah. particular. And really oh, quickly, yeah. what if you've got a low credit score? Is that okay? Irrelevant. Ah. Very good. Yay. Shane DuPont, good news. Hey, you can learn more about the issue by visiting the website homemortgagelaw.com. And of course, you can contact the law firm of Morris DuPont and schedule.